Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have some really exciting news just to start off. I've entered the um, London Look UK Rimmel London competition and I would really, 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 really appreciate if you could um, vote for me. I'll leave the link straight down in the description box and also in the comments. I know that we can do it and it will mean so, so much to me. So please just remember to click on that link before you watch this video and then come back to watch this video. So basically today I decided to do a highly requested look that I put on my Instagram. I I got really, really dry skin, like it just it was almost a rash. So then I, um, I was gonna wait until it had cleared up. It's kind of gotten to the stage where it's just dry skin now, like it's just dry skin. I know that some of you also have dry skin, so I thought it'd be a great way um, to show you how I put makeup on when I also have dry skin as well, because right now my skin, without the technique that I use today, my skin will just feel like literally ice and just disgustingness and oh! Anyways, um, this is a long intro and I hate long intros so I don't know what I'm doing here but please remember to vote and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a nice evening, day, night, morning whenever you're watching this. So pseudocreme is the key ingredient in order to have makeup on whilst having dry skin and I literally passed this all over my face and this creates a very good layer and a base um, for my dry skin just to be like protected and it not interfere with the makeup so I just literally smear this all over my face and I'm gonna go in with coconut oil but you can use any oil you just need to make sure you're not using a water-based lotion because um, water will dehydrate your skin whereas oil will hydrate it when it's dry I'm gonna go in with my LA girl color corrector and I'm just gonna put this all over the dark areas of my face this is gonna help to brighten up my skin and set a good layer for my foundation the foundation I'm using today is my Tint Miracle Lancome I'm just going to put that all over my face and make sure that I properly blend it in and I dab 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 away and I'm going to use my LA Pro Girl Concealer um, in Warm Honey. I'm using this one because it's really really thick and it's going to create a good layer for any like dry skin not to come through and it can look all moisturised. I'm going to go in my Beauty Blender I'm just going to blend that in. I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup under eye setting powder and this is literally amazing guys, it's amazing, it's the best setting powder I've ever used in my life, amazing, everybody needs this and a little goes such a long way. Then I'm going to use my favourite foundation stick to contour which is my suede mocha by Black Opal, this is literally my holy grail, I cannot imagine myself using anything else, I'm just going to blend that in with a beauty blender. Then I'm bringing out the Sleek Contour Kit, which is my other holy grail, and I use the darkest one as my transition colour for my eyes. And then I go in with the lighter gold, and I just put that all over my lid, and I make sure I pat, 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 pat it in. And then I'm going to go in with the bronzy kind of colour. I'm just going to use that to blend in my transition colour and the gold that's on my lid. And I just like, just blend it in basically <laughs> and it's time for eyeliner I kind of messed it up but you can't really tell <laughs> now I did my lashes off um, camera because yeah they were just technical today I went in with the same dark brown from the sleek contour kit and I just put that in my waterline just to make the eyes pop a bit and I used some mascara at my bottom lashes just to pop 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 the eyes <laughs> And I'm using my favourite contour brush, which I'm going to mention in a beauty haul, and I use that to darken up my contour and make it a bit more defined and edgy and crisp and, you know, ching, 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 ching. That's how you want your contour to be looking like. <laughs> Then surprise, surprise, I'm using my Colourpop Avalon Super Soft Cheek. I'm just going to put that all over my cheeks just to make them look pretty. And I dust off um, any excess button-up Sasha under eye setting just to make sure everything is nice and blended. I'm going to go in with my SB Highlighter and highlight the cheeks high points of my cheeks and this is amazing highlighter I'll link it down below it's so good and a little again goes a long long way so I just put that on my nose and my highest of my cheekbones so for my lips I'm using sleek current lip liner then I'm gonna go in with like a brown just to really emphasize my Cupid's bow and I'm gonna go in with Mac well and I go in with Mac taupe as well and then I'm gonna go in with a sleek matte me birthday suit just to ombre the lips a bit and make them pop, 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 pop. 
I'm going to set everything with my Dark Men and Rising Skin Finish by MAC, but we're not going to use a setting spray today because, again, that's with water and you don't want to dehydrate your skin any more than it is if it's dry. So I suggest just leaving it and make sure you really do set it well with a good, good powder. So yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you really like it. Um, please remember to vote for me. I'll leave the link in the description box and subscribe to my channel. I love you so much and have a lovely day. Love from Liz. Bye! Mother, father, sons, and daughters And he's teaching me prophecies, prophecies How to claim my property